Hello, I'm Miss Goddard and I teach photography at Blue Coat School. You might find photography interesting if you are interested in fine art, photography and image manipulation. In Year 9 you'll do a training unit and you'll cover lots of topics like camera craft, composition, looking at artists and analysing their work, Photoshop and lighting techniques. You'll then culminate that work into a project which will be called Contemporary Portraiture and you'll be able to use all the skills you've learned in that unit to create that project with a little bit more freedom. In Year 10 you'll develop all the skills you learned in Year 9 and you'll create a magazine, editorial and front cover. You'll use lots of different editing techniques and you'll look at more experimental techniques that year but you'll also have a little bit more freedom to develop that editorial which is a range of images that go inside a magazine and you'll look at more design techniques as well. At the beginning of Year 11 you'll go on a trip into Manchester and this will be the inspiration for your third project which is a mock exam project. This will be practice for you when you do your real exam. In Year 11 you'll start your final project and you'll have about 11 weeks to create a project and 10 hours, so that will be under exam conditions to create a final outcome for that project. The exam board will give you about seven different options to work through, and that's an externally set exam. That exam is worth 40% of your overall grade, and all of the work that you do in year nine and 10 and half of year 11 is your coursework, and that will go towards 6% of your overall grade for the GCSE photography. Photography is graded using four different assessment objectives. The first one is AO1, and that is research and analysis of, of photographers. AO2 is experimentation, AO3 is how you record your ideas, and AO4 is your final piece. They all get added together to give you your final grade. You'll also have the opportunity to visit Paris and visit the city and look at all the famous artwork that Paris has to offer. If you've got any further questions, then you can come down to LEO1 and speak to me, any of your teachers in your lessons, or just pop down and see us during Options Week. Thank you very much.